Sweetheart, damn it, why am I not able to tell you exactly how much you mean to me? It's baffling and frustrating, this power you have over me. As soon as I come face to face with you, words escape me. When I'm alone, I rehearse endlessly, thinking I will say this and that, but as soon as you appear, my heart starts racing, and I find myself unable to utter a single word. Look at what condition you have made of me. The whole day, I keep having conversations with you in my mind. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I say I love you too, and then begin my day with thoughts of you. Throughout the day, it feels as if you are here with me, sitting next to me. I talk with you, I laugh with you, and I feel so connected with you. But when you appear in front of me, it's as if I lose my balance entirely. I wonder if you will be able to understand what I want to say, or maybe you will think that I have gone mad. Honestly, even I don't know how all this is happening to me. I had never felt so close to anyone before, especially when I have not even interacted much with you. I don't know why, but I feel like I have known you all my life, like you are my family. Because of this, I am even more scared to lose you. Just look at my madness, I don't have you with me in the first place, but still, I'm afraid to lose you. I really wish to sit with you and explain everything that is going on with me. I want to tell you that I am thinking about you almost obsessively the whole day. I feel so attracted to you that so many times I feel like running to you and holding you in my arms tightly. I often look at you from afar and get lost in you. I really wish that you understand my heart and my feelings. I'm very scared to approach you because I feel so raw and vulnerable. I think, what if you break my heart? Then the dream world that I have created in my mind will be shattered. I am in a dilemma. I want to tell you the truth about my feelings, but I'm also afraid to get hurt. I love you more than I can put into words. It's like I fell into this deep, consuming love without even realizing it. Now, the thought of not seeing you every day scares me. The idea of you being mad at me or ignoring me hurts me more than I can express. I really don't know what to do. I want to come to you and live a beautiful life with you. I have always prayed for a love like this, and now that I have it, I don't want to lose it. Please, God, show me a way so that I take the correct step which guides me in the direction of my eternal happiness. You have become the center of my universe. From the moment I wake up until I close my eyes at night, my thoughts are filled with you. Imagining a life without you is unbearable. Even though we haven't spent much time together, it feels like my soul has recognized you from a past life like we were meant to find each other in this chaotic world. I envision countless scenarios where I confess my feelings, each one more perfect than the last, but the reality is that I'm paralyzed by fear. Fear of rejection, fear of misunderstanding, fear of losing this delicate connection we share. I am torn between the urge to pour my heart out to you and the instinct to protect myself from potential heartbreak. Every glance in your direction feels like a stolen moment of bliss, and every interaction, no matter how brief, leaves me yearning for more. My heart aches with the desire to be close to you, to share my world with you, and to make you understand just how profoundly you've affected me. I want to hold you and never let go, to whisper all the things I can't bring myself to say aloud, to make you see how deeply and irrevocably I am in love with you. I am scared because I've never felt this way before. The intensity of my emotions is both exhilarating and terrifying. What if you don't feel the same way? What if my confession ruins everything? These thoughts plague me day and night, leaving me in a constant state of anxiety and longing. Yet, despite all this fear and uncertainty, I know one thing for sure, I love you. I love you more than I ever thought possible. This love has become a part of me, a force that drives me and shapes my days. 
I pray for the strength and the courage to express my feelings to you, and for the wisdom to handle whatever comes next. Please, God, help me find the right words and the right moment to tell you how much you mean to me. Guide me towards the path that will lead to my happiness, and hopefully, to a future with you. This love is too precious to lose, and I am willing to do whatever it takes to make you understand how much I care. Hey, do you ever think about how our life would be after we get married? I often get lost in thoughts about our future together, imagining every detail of what it might look like. I envision a beautiful home, where our names are proudly displayed on the nameplate at the entrance, with the word heaven etched beneath. This home is not just a house but a sanctuary, a cozy and comfortable place, free from unnecessary clutter, reflecting both our tastes and personalities. In my daydreams, our mornings start peacefully. We wake up in each other's arms, smiling at the sight of each other. There's a serene warmth that fills the room as we lay there for a few moments, soaking in the tranquility of the morning. Eventually, we get up and head to the kitchen to make coffee and breakfast together. I can see us moving around the kitchen, bumping into each other playfully, sharing laughter and light-hearted banter. We have our little arguments, like who takes more time in the bathroom, but these moments are filled with love and laughter, adding a unique charm to our mornings. Getting ready for the day is a shared activity. We help each other with the little things, like picking out accessories and making sure everything is just right. We have this adorable ritual where we assist each other, ensuring we both look our best. After getting ready, we share a tender kiss, which has become my favorite part of the day. There is a different kind of intimacy when we help each other with these small tasks, it's in these moments that my heart overflows with love. When I help you put on your watch and other accessories, it makes me feel like I am taking care of you, and that feeling is incredibly fulfilling. After breakfast, we head out to tackle our daily routines. We part ways but stay connected through small messages and calls, counting down the hours until we can be together again. When we finally reunite in the evening, the first thing we do is share a long, comforting hug. We hold each other for at least five minutes, not saying a word, just feeling the warmth and security of being in each other's arms. It's a grounding moment that reminds us of our love and connection. After changing out of our work clothes, we sit down and talk about our day. These conversations are precious to me, they are a time to unwind, share our experiences, and simply enjoy each other's company. We then cuddle up in our bed, finding solace and peace in each other's presence. If we don't have any other plans, we head to the kitchen to make dinner together. These kitchen moments are some of my favorites. We work in perfect sync, creating delicious meals while enjoying each other's company. The process of cooking together is filled with laughter, teamwork, and a sense of partnership. Once dinner is ready, we sit down to eat, often while watching something on TV. It's a relaxing way to wind down and enjoy our meal. Sometimes, we decide to go for a walk after dinner. We stroll hand in hand, enjoying the night air and occasionally stopping for some ice cream. These walks are special, we leave our phones at home, free from distractions, and focus solely on each other. We talk, laugh, and savor the simplicity of just being together. When we return home, we finish any remaining chores and prepare for bed. Our life might seem simple and routine to some, and they might even call it boring, but I find it peaceful and fulfilling. It's in these ordinary moments that I find the greatest joy. The love, care, and understanding we share make our life together perfect. We fit together so naturally, complementing each other's strengths and weaknesses, creating a harmonious and loving partnership. I love our life together and I look forward to every moment we share in our little slice of heaven.